Good morning everyone, welcome back to a weekly vlog. It is about time I've actually done this. I thought I would vlog over the next couple of days. Today is a day of getting my life together because I feel like I've had a real 360. I went skiing as you guys would have seen and although it was still an amazing trip like I had amazing company I'm so grateful for Jen and Imogen they were just so sweet after everything that happened with my leg and stuff. Not gonna lie probably actually was like one of the worst weeks for me I felt like I just had bad news after bad news and I couldn't do anything other than sit in a hotel room with me myself and my thoughts. So it just wasn't really the best week however this new week I feel like I've got a whole new mindset and I'm just feeling very positive I feel like it's a good thing that that's happened because I picked myself up and I think it really makes you appreciate like the little wins and stuff in life and I think that week I really decided what I want out of life what I want to do with my life sometimes it's good to have knockbacks um although I'm really hoping that I haven't torn my ACL and that's not that much of a knockback and that I have my MRI I have my MRI next Monday have it next week I'm hoping that I have it and they're like oh you're fine but we we shall see so update you on the leg I am walking by the way if you saw my I don't know if my Q&A has gone up before this or not but I am walking so I am fine but it just means that I like I can't train my glutes for a very long time which means all of my glute gains are going to be out of the window and that does actually break my heart especially because I was doing 75 hard I was so getting into it like oh I'm honestly absolutely gutted but it is what it is like it's happened now so I'm still going to the gym I'm just training upper body maybe it's an opportunity to make myself strong and to be honest I was never training upper so you know it's once I, once my leg gets better, then I will have a strong upper body and the glutes. That's the way I'm looking at it. Anyways, went to the gym this morning. Libby stayed brown last night. We had a sleepover. I did the sauna, cold shower. I've just started reading this book called Atomic Habits. And I've never in my life enjoy, enjoyed a book so much. I don't read. I really struggle with reading. I'm dyslexic. It takes me a lot longer than the average person to read a book. I feel like I have to repeatedly read the same line. And I also just lose concentration. But this is like the first book where I've actually been excited to pick it up again. Like I can't even tell you how much I love it and I've only, I've only read two chapters and actually I filmed the podcast this morning and I was telling Anna about it and our producer was saying how it's also his favourite book and I know so many people who have read this book who said it's absolutely incredible um, and I feel like it's just made me realise as much as I have all of these goals and very good at taking steps towards my goals, I think that is something I would give credit to myself. Like when I want something, I do try and make the steps to make it happen however I feel like my biggest downfall my worst habit is I'm just the most unorganized person ever to exist so today I thought I would spend the day actually just organizing my life and my friend Jasmine's come over she's gonna help me organize my life I actually feel like it's gonna take a lot longer than a day just sorting my drawers and stuff out I think would just be a start like I can't find anything in this house I have way too much stuff I really need to declutter like my gym bag if you can see the inside of my gym bag, it's actually so embarrassing. I just emptied it. Honestly, wrappers, like plastic bottles, just so much rubbish, like a million hairbands, highlighters, pens, bikinis that I didn't wear today that are from like two weeks ago. Like it's, it's just actually ridiculous. My car is the same. My life is just a little bit like that. So yeah, I really thought today I would just organize my life. I'm gonna do that. And the first thing I'm gonna do, which I'm gonna do the second I stop vlogging in a minute, is I am going to use my Apple Air tags because I got them for Christmas and I still haven't used them. I have lost my keys five times in the last 48 hours. How? How do I do that? I need to get an air tag on my keys. That is first priority. So I'm actually going to do that in a second. I actually bought myself an air tag before and I lost it before I even set it up. That just sums me up. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it's looking like. No, the amount of pajamas that I have is unhealthy. But as you all know, pajamas are literally my favorite thing honor like i am obsessed with buying pajamas they make me so happy i was actually sat last night looking at so many pairs of pajamas and i was so close to buying them and i was like no saffron like you can't even put any more in your pajama drawer so i really really do need to sort this out but i'm also like a perfectionist when it comes to pajamas like i thoroughly rate pajama like pajamas on like softness the quality like i'm just all about them so i need to sort this drawer up massively believe it or not all my socks are there but you can't see them because it's just so messy and then this is what my underwear drawer is looking like oh my god no this is so bad like it is so 
so bad. Yeah, so I just feel like I need to have like a comfy section, like a like set collection, collection area, space. I don't know, it just can't look like this because this just stresses me out every single morning. <laughs> isn't even empty that's just like the fact that all of that was in that drawer and it would stress me out because i can't find my favorite pajamas that i really really want to wear when i go to bed yeah, maybe and look there's still more underwear that's also just sat in this drawer because it doesn't even fit to go in there you can't even see my socks yeah so this this oh my god this is actually really crazy. very organized to you guys but it actually is extremely organized i mean i still have probably an obsessive amount however feeling a lot more satisfied this is actually how much i've got rid of so i actually have got rid of a lot so as much as you're probably looking at it thinking oh you're never going to keep it that clean and tidy i've actually got rid of so much to be fair like when you look at it like that jazz don't you think yeah. that's more than i thought so maybe i will be able to maintain this i've maintained my gym drawers looking tidy so hopefully i can do the same with this drawer but yeah got socks basic underwear basic um well bras underwear and then this is like my skims little bras like like t-shirt bras and stuff and then this side i've got like um my matching sexier i guess lacier underwear these are just like thick socks and tights and then these are all of my pajamas so it's definitely looking a lot more organized that's for sure update everyone i have just driven to come and see my grandparents my grandparents have actually both been in hospital they're actually thankfully both out now and i haven't been able to see them for a little while just because they've been in hospital and they before that they've both been unwell and so they didn't want me to come over and catch anything or anything like that thankfully they're doing a lot better definitely not okay but definitely doing a lot better so i wanted to come over and see them and i actually can't believe how dark it gets like so early at the moment like it's actually crazy i know it's going to start getting lighter i don't know if it's also because like when i'm on facetime to lewis it's always so bright like even at night time just because he's in america and it's obviously just so much brighter there than it is here but it's just always so bright and i'm like oh my god I'm so jealous like it's so dark here i love 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 when it starts to get sunny earlier in the mornings and just later in the evenings as well because we just have way more of a day but i have just i'm arriving at my grandparents with some crispy creams because my nan's favorite i'm pretty sure like i actually might have got it wrong but i'm pretty sure my nan's favorite thing ever are the glazed donuts from crispy cream so i really really hope that i am right so i think this is actually going to make her entire day and then my granddad's is toblerone so i I also got him some Toblerone there's dark white and then this one I think is fruit and nut or is it the normal one? Oh no this is normal I ate the fruit and nut one I thought there was two of them but apparently not no so I ate the fruit and nut one sorry granddad there was actually four but now there's now there's three <laughs> anyways yeah I'm gonna come with goodies and yeah go and see my grandparents which I'm very excited for my nan normally like waits in the Porsche like the second she sees me drive in and I feel like she literally might be there waiting for me I'm, I think she's gonna be pretty excited to see me I'm not gonna lie look who I'm with <laughs> cuteness Cutie. we've been chatting for the last hour non-stop oh, haven't we well to write something we said yeah <laughs> about all my ambitions and my goals that nan has to listen to over and over again which i love <laughs> good morning morning just met casey at the gym we had a lovely yeah. morning set oh hello beautiful girl oh my god no can you just stop a second so <gasps> hello say hello hi, baby Roo. oh my goodness she is so cute i can't even deal hi papa I said she was incredibly <laughs> chatty today. She did not stop talking. Well, she's not talking to me right now. <laughs> she's very tired. Good morning, everyone. Today is officially the day of a glow up. Especially looking at me now, you're going to see a huge transformation. I look so red because, well, I've literally just had a, like an ice, ice cold shower. I only did a minute. Like, I can't do longer than a minute. I've been trying for the past couple of days and I honestly can't hack it. And I only did 15 minutes in the sauna. But the sauna was 95 degrees today. Normally, it's like 85. So 
why I really, really did feel it. And also because I had like my necklaces and stuff on, they were like burning my chest. Um, but I went to the gym this morning and I ended up seeing Casey. So I ended up doing a workout with him. I can only train my upper at the moment because of my knee. Saying that, I did actually manage to do some RDLs because when I'm bending my leg, it's fine. It's just the straightening of my leg. So I think gradually I actually will be able to do hopefully more leg exercises. It's so funny, by the way. The amount of people on my TikTok that have like seen my vlog that are like, oh, and it's miraculously better because if I would lie about the fact or like deliberately go in an air ambulance and not go skiing my whole trip obviously not the assumptions that people make about me is honestly hilarious I can't even like I feel like I'm over ever being upset now because I'm just like people just actually love to talk so so much crap about me which is really really nice but um yeah anyways I look super red because of the cold shower and the sauna I have a day of just sorting myself out yes I feel like I sort my life out a little bit I still have a lot more of that to do and I actually have so much work to do over the weekend and a lot of like meetings and worky stuff next week so today i'm kind of taking the day for myself i'm getting my nails done i normally like only get my nails done when a nail comes off because i'm like trying to hold out for as long as i can but i don't really like the pattern everyone who's actually seen it says it's really cute but i don't know i really feel like getting black nails i saw hayley bieber have black nails and i was like oh my god i haven't had black nails in the longest time like i always get red or nude so i think i'm gonna go black but also right this is so disgusting i would show you but i i actually don't think it's very appropriate my feet are so dry like i looked at my feet two days ago and i what i tell you i was actually in shock like to the point where my whole like my whole foot is dry like i've never in my life seen it like this i've never had dry feet it's so weird i don't know why i don't know where it's come from so i need to get a pedicure as well as a manicure so i'm getting all of that done today i'm getting my eyebrows done dyed i'm getting the hd brows so it's a bit like lamination but like a little bit better for your brows and then in the morning i'm getting my hair done so my hair is the darkest it's ever been and as much as i absolutely love having a root this is like my real root like it's so like you actually can't even see on camera like to the point when i put my hair like half up half down it's like black and then it's blonde and it looks like i have a helmet on like it looks that bad but i was like do you know what because obviously i'm not dying i have I haven't bleached it in the longest time because I really want to grow my hair and so I thought do you know what I'll hold out until Lewis gets back from America and when he gets back then I'll dye my hair but like I can't I actually can't do it I was like you know the person I really 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 want to look really nice in front of is like is my boyfriend obviously no I can't like every time I look at myself I'm like I literally it goes from black to blonde like there's no there's no like transition if that makes sense and I feel like it actually looks better now because it's like slightly damp but yeah it, it's just not looking cute so I'm still gonna have like that root smudge that I had when I stopped bleaching my hair from the top like I'm still gonna have a root smudge but it definitely does need some bleach and so I've, I'm getting new hair extensions I'm getting it dyed I feel like I'm just gonna have such a glow up and I'm gonna feel like myself and I'm just I'm so excited <laughs> It is every part of me to not actually burst out laughing whilst getting my feet done. Okay, I'm going into appointment number two, I'm running late. But I'm very excited getting my brows done. Okay, for a girls' night, I really don't know if to get these or whether to get striped pajamas. Oh my god, I'm so unsure because they're so cute. Oh, I really don't know. Like, I love these. I feel like aesthetically they look better, but I actually love the Mingo ones so much. Good morning, everyone. I feel like I look like a different woman right now because I've had my hair dyed and I feel like I look extremely blonde. I think just because I haven't bleached my hair. I don't even know how long it is that I haven't bleached my hair for, but in like the years I've been bleached, my hair that's definitely like the longest gap the longest time that I haven't bleached my hair for I felt like it was really really needed actually my hair has grown so it definitely was beneficial and I know a lot of people probably be thinking well, why have you bleached it again like you're kind of going backwards I knew that I would always want to stay blonde and I'm not like bleaching from my very root so I'm doing like a root smudge although saying that obviously the root smudge is like a lot lighter than my hair was. I just felt like, honestly, it just, it just, I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. I don't like being dark. It's so funny. For so many years, I've been debating going dark. And I feel like maybe I could do it if I was like really dark. It was such a change. It was all over. Oh, I don't know. No, because then I see half my hair dark and I'm like, no, I just don't feel like myself. So I definitely feel a lot more like myself. I love my hair color. Actually, I do kind of wish, I don't wish because I know it's going to go darker so much quicker, but I kind of wish the root smudge was a little bit bigger, but I think it's just because you get used to what you're used to, right? But I know over time it will. And so it made sense to do more of the bleach today. And I made sure I used lots of treatments. Um, I'm using K18 all the time. And I feel like that that's really, really helping my hair. The only thing is, obviously, it's very expensive, but 
an amazing, amazing product. I feel like I never know, right? Because I was using Olaplex and now everyone's like, don't use Olaplex. It's like, I was eating porridge for breakfast and then everyone's like, oh, you shouldn't eat oats for breakfast. I feel like everything's changing all of the time and I just never know what's right, but I've just been sticking to what I've been doing. Actually, that goes for my diet and for my hair care. The last like month, I think I've actually been really great at just putting like my self care first. And obviously I haven't been uploading anywhere near as much. And honestly, I mean, a lot of that is because I wasn't really going through the best place, if I'm being completely honest with you. I was in a really, really bad place. But at the same time, whilst I was in that bad place, I decided to do all the things that would make me feel better about myself. And that was making sure I was eating a really healthy, balanced diet that gave me more energy. Because before that, I was just eating a load of crap. and even things like just growing my hair and just waiting as long, like honestly I did wait as long as I possibly could. I really, really was gonna wait until my boyfriend got back off holiday. Holiday? Well he's not really on holiday is he? But till he got back off his training camp. But like another nine more weeks? I just don't think I could do it. Don't think I could quite do it. And yeah, I just want to feel good now. So I feel so much better. Today I actually have the best day. Today is the day that all the girls are coming over and we're doing Galentines. So if you saw my Q&A, you would have seen that I'm not actually going to be spending Valentine's with my boyfriend, with him being away. And I can't really go and see him. There is like a slight possibility that I could go and see him. I would literally be going over to see him for one day, basically. And I just don't want to distract him from his goals. Like I want him to be really focused and I just don't want to be the person that distracts him in any way shape or form so I don't know maybe as the training camp gets easier I might go over there and see him because I miss him a lot I don't think Valentine's is happening but it's fine because we're doing Galentine's today and it's gonna be so cute me and my friends have always wanted to do bring a board and so we're doing that today we're doing bring a board night and I also for an activity bought us all like charcuterie boards from Ikea actually they're only like small they were literally like two pounds I saw on TikTok like some girls painting the charcuterie boards and it looked so cute and I thought I would actually have that in my house. So I think we're going to do that because at Christmas time we did painting the wine glasses and everyone just thoroughly enjoyed it and I feel like it's quite nice for none of us to, I mean when we're together we don't sit on our phones anyways but it's just nice to not have our phones. I just, I don't know, there's something about painting, it's really therapeutic even if you're really bad. It's probably even more therapeutic because you're having to concentrate so bad aka me. So yeah we just really enjoyed it last time so we're going to do that. Yeah and I think we're just going to put on some movies and stuff like that but tonight is going to consist of a lot of good food so we've all got a different board i'm doing savory board because my mum told me she was like m s have all the heart-shaped food and i've obviously over the years done all the like i only ate valentine food for a day m s did always do the heart-shaped food i went to m s they have no heart-shaped food none nothing at all so i'm like guys i'll do the savory i know it's going to be the hardest because i'm thinking in my head like i got this nothing so instead I've got heart cutters and I'm gonna have to buy food and cut everything into heart shapes and just make it look cute. And I also tried to get a heart board, but I could get no heart board that would arrive in time either. So I'm gonna go to the shop any second now, go and get a board, go and get those sort of savory foods. I did see some like Instagram videos of some really cute like heart shaped like mozzarella and tomatoes that are like super easy to make. Wait, let me show you because it's actually so cute. Oh, I do not want to get copyright, but um, look how cute and it looks so easy to make. Like I'm thinking, even I can make it. Even I can make it. It looks that easy. So I think I'm going to do like a little version of this because I think it would look really cute on the board. Obviously, we have like five sweet boards. So I need to really go all out with the savory food. But I was thinking this. And then also another one my mum sent me is how cute are these little flowers. But then it is the same thing. So I don't know which one's better. I don't know whether to do the flowers or to do the heart-shaped mozzarella. I'm so... Oh, I think I might do this, you know. I feel like, oh, that would look really cute on the board. I really don't know which one to do. I'll figure it out. Oh my god, I wish my boyfriend was here for Valentine's because I'd absolutely be getting him this. How cute is it? Oh my god, these little tokens that you redeem for. That is actually the cutest thing in the world. And like the end one is like um, a golden ticket, so I assume you put like whatever you want. But how cute is this? Oh my god, it's two pounds as well. And it's so cute. I can't even deal. A big order of mine didn't arrive, which I was honestly gutted about, which was from Tiger. I ordered so many bits on my like glove heart shaped plate. But I just found these in Tesco. Um, and also they have the heart shaped cutter, which is so cute. I know it's a breakfast set, but because we're all doing boards, I feel like we're just having picky foods. But there were six left and there's six of us girls. So I'm so happy. Look who's come over. Hi. <laughs> so obviously wanted to do the, the evening myself and then surprise the girls, but. But obviously she needed your girl's help. Exactly, no, exactly that. I, no, no, I can't even know how to taste. And I needed um, heart-shaped cutters and they didn't arrive in time. So I thought, well, perfect. Got heart-shaped cutters and the plate. I did actually already show these in the vlog. And Libby, I even got like, um, 
obviously they're not actually real rose petals, but like the fake rose petals, oh. which I do think is a bit dramatic for us girls. Oh, no. But I thought it would make it look up. really cute, yeah. And then like, I don't want to waste food, but I've got like mini quiches and stuff, or you can do the heart shape, and then me and Libby will eat the yeah, crust. Because you know I still haven't tried quiche. I keep saying this and I keep Shut up. up. I've never tried a quiche. Are you actually joking? No, I, I don't think quiche is one of the nicest, like, I know, you one know of the nicest say. things that ever exists. Like, it's just my what favorite thing. Is it it's scram it's scrambled eggs, isn't it? Or it's like eggs. Well, basically, and... yeah, egg. Yeah, it's basically like egg. Oh, it's quiche so tonight. good. It's the pastry on the outside as well. That's what I mean. I mean, you can eat the pastry so it's not a waste. Oh, yeah, Ali. So, <laughs> what city <laughs> do, I, do I most like to spend time in? Are you scared for like hard? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I don't feel like that as well. Hard. It should be bright. That's not hard. hard. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. Well, mine wouldn't be How bright enough, actually, would it? Let's be honest. How do I prefer to exercise? Wait, is that the second one now? <laughs> the second one. I don't, one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, which comedian? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, which medium. comedian do I think is the funniest? Harry, are you writing down the answers? <laughs> oh. not playing. No, I am. But I honestly. Libby, you don't watch comedians. I don't see them twice long. Yeah. Oh, on her birthday. No. <laughs> <laughs> just feel what you uh, need to go do. Okay, what's everyone else's I put steakhouse. Am I in a No, that's not my favourite It's Mexican. Mexican. It's Mexican. Mexican. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. I fully thought you'd get that. Yeah, what is my favourite one. feature about myself? I would say your favourite skin feature is your skin. Oh, oh that's, that's a good That's a great one. I put teeth. That's a great skin. Oh, oh that is nice. Yeah. And you also have lovely eyes. Oh. <laughs> There's lots of images. Kiss, 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 kiss. kiss, kiss. <laughs> Girls, look, we're just putting on Love Island. We've not done the charcuterie boards, have we, girls? We've just been <laughs> has. Justin has, actually, yeah. I did. Oh, you did? I'm oh, not really awesome. <laughs> um, Yeah, and also, we haven't put on a movie we're putting on Love Island, but, you know. Yeah. A lovely girls' night, and do you know what? Look how cute my friends are. They always clean what? the whole house up. Where's she When we leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grace, this is such a look. Are you cold, by any chance? I'm just <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. We've had such a nice night though. Yeah, we've just basically really caught up. We didn't really do anything I think we planned on doing, did we? No. So we've all been a bit, I was thinking for myself it maybe, but I've just been so tired. Yeah, well, we Grace is tired because she's hungover. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just tired because for no reason other than busy week. We spoke about our, um, planning our girls' holiday. We did, actually, yeah. We think we know where we're going for our girls' holiday. It should be good. I think we're going to Marbella, actually, first for the first year. Okay, the girls have left. Honestly, had the nicest evening ever. The girls actually aren't staying, as I'm going to London tomorrow. So there was just no point in staying, as I'm leaving so early. But honestly, had the nicest girls' night. I know everyone's probably thinking, why are you celebrating, why are you celebrating Valentine's, Valentine's so early? But it was like the only night that we could all get together. Us, so we just really wanted to do something. But yeah, it was just really nice. But we ended up doing any of the things that we actually planned on doing. But it just was so nice to catch up with my girlfriends. And I just feel so grateful for all of my friends that I have in my life. Like, oh, I just love my girl group so much. Everyone is just so kind and thoughtful. And it was it was just such a nice night. Um, just not to get dressed for bed. By the way, this, oh my God, this deodorant is everything. Libby hasn't stopped raving on about this deodorant. It's like, it smells amazing. And the other day I needed a deodorant, so I picked it up. Oh my God, it's actually insane. Like, I get excited to actually spray my armpits in the morning and at night for this. Does anyone else spray their armpits at night? I don't know if I always do that. I've just done that now. I'm just trying to figure out, do I always do that? Do I always, do I always put deodorant at night time? I'm actually not even sure if I do. Maybe I do. No, maybe I do. I don't really know. Anyways, I'm going to get ready for bed. I'm going to do my skincare and then get into my pajamas. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling super self-conscious about my skin right now. This camera gives me a bit of a blur. Not gonna lie, so you're not seeing it, and I do have makeup on, but. My skin is not great. I've got loads of like under the skin spots and it's just so annoying. But I know that skin is temporary. I know that it's gonna be fine. I've got my skin treatment arriving very soon. And in the meantime, I'm using a brand called 47 Skin. That's really, really good. I love it actually, a serum. So I'm using that and I'm just making sure I'm also using other good products. Um, I'm also using this Eucerin cleansing gel all until my Abaji arrives. So then once that arrives, I'm gonna start using that again as that's actually what cleared my acne. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get undressed 
and then get into bed. Okay, makeup is off. You can see my skin more here. Um, it's not really thriving at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I actually feel very self-conscious vlogging like this right now because of my skin. I think it's because my rosacea is bad and I'm pale. So when I'm pale, it obviously makes it a lot more obvious. But yeah, I've actually been putting off like even vlogging in the evening because I just am really not loving my skin at the moment. But you know what? It's so normal. Like we all go through this. Like next week, my skin might be perfect. I think my boyfriend might be facing me. Hello. Joseph, why are you still awake? Huh? Why are you still awake? Say hello to my vlog. Your vlog? Yeah. Hi, vlog. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So today is actually my mum's birthday. And actually, two very important people in my life, my mum's birthday and my boyfriend's, a day apart from each other. However, I'm actually able to spend my birthday, my birthday? I'm actually able to spend my mum's birthday with her today, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'm just about to go over and see my mum. Actually, her ideal mornings is going to the gym together. So that's exactly what she wants to do. So I'm in my gym gear, about to go to the gym with my mum. But I need to wrap her birthday presents. Yesterday, I went to London and I did actually pick her up like a card that I'd spent so long choosing. Does anyone else do that? When they choose cards, they're there for honestly at least half an hour. So I spent like half an hour choosing a card with the nice wrapping paper. I was like, this is gonna look so cute. She's gonna love it. She'd get a cute little picture by it. I'll make it look all really cute. I left everything in London. I don't know how I do it. I genuinely lose everything I touch so bad. And I genuinely don't know what I can do about it. My memory is honestly absolutely terrible terrible i need to get into the habit of just checking everything but i forget i forget what i've even got so anyways last night i realized i've left all the wrapping paper and everything i think i believe i have wrapping paper in my guest room from around christmas time but i'm hoping that it's non-christmas wrapping paper because i did actually tell my mum that i'd left wrapping paper in london and she was like well you have some in your guest room but i'm looking and i'm not actually seeing anything oh my god this guest room is actually guys look at it it's a mess it's an absolute mess it's because i don't have a enough room for anything which I absolutely well I do have enough room for anything but I just have way too many things everything is just kind of everywhere like I really 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 need to sort out this room oh my goodness look what Casey and Nia have done for mum they are now Casey's now claiming favorite child award definitely because he's definitely outdone me oh my goodness it looks so nice wow hello say hello you know when I bought this say happy birthday great nanny <laughs> great nanny Nanny, <laughs> oh my god, she's not that old. You know. So the this was the wrap and paper that I that I had. No, but mum, I did actually spend ages like choosing that. you a card and a wrap and paper, and I left it all in London. But look, guys, I hate this. I hate myself for this. My pet peeve when people do this, and then even more my pet peeve. Yeah, when people stick a piece of paper over the top because it didn't fit, and that's exactly what I've done. I bet they're leaving it so blank. yeah, so. true. Happy birthday. <laughs> What was she doing? You can't be singing and talking to me at the same I time. Okay, we're just going into Soho House. I don't want to get copyright, so I need to talk quickly. My whole knee just dislocated and it was so painful and that hasn't happened this entire time. So I'm starting to think that something really is wrong with my knee. Yeah, mum's gonna piggyback me the whole way home. Considering she didn't work out enough, she's now gonna get her arms moving. Be careful what you wish for. 